Hey, this is Joy from Enjoy Fitness 43, and I have another workout for you. And today we're going to be doing um, an upper body workout, and then an ab workout, and then a lower body workout. We're going to be doing three rounds of four different exercises. They're going to be 30 seconds long with a 15 second break in between. You're going to need two weights, um, a mat, and a chair. Uh, for a couple of the upper body exercises um, that we're going to do. We're going to focus on your chest and your triceps today um, for our upper body workout. So go and get those and get ready and we're going to do our warm up here in just a sec. Okay, are you ready? Let's do our warm up. Okay, let's start by rolling those shoulders back. And then bring them forward. Lifting that heel up and back. That's it. Now a little squat. Squat with the bicep curl. That's it. Just relax. Not too deep yet. Now let's get a little swing. Swing in there. Can we get that heel to the high knee? Let's get that heel to the high knee. Good. Now let's just rotate those arms, going back and forth. Let's go into side bends now, side bends. Let's do a double pulse. Pulse it twice, pulse it twice. Hey, back to singles. Ready? We're going to reach out front. Now reach. Like you're pulling in a big rope. That's it. Ready? We're going to get that rope from on top now. On top. Can we get it from the bottom? Pull it here. That's it. Pull it in. Little circles again. Can you change directions? Let's pat down. Pat down. That's it. Pressure. Feel it on the top of those shoulders. Press up now. Squat again. Squat. Pull it in. Use those biceps. Ready? We're going to go for triples. So, one, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, and up again. Up. And up. Up. Last one. Up, now let's punch. Use those feet. Keep those elbows down.
Can you double punch for me? Double punch. Uppercut for me. Let's do singles now, ready? So singles. And we do this thing called windshield wipers where we use those heels, kind of slide around. That's it. Now we're gonna clap, clap it under the leg. Can you get it up there? Okay, now we're gonna move those hips around, around, switch, around, last one, around. Oh, time's up. Okay, so warm up's done. We're gonna start on the floor. Our rounds are shorter now, they're 30 seconds. So I want you to really think about what we're doing here. We're not gonna barrel through our weights. I want you to think about what you're doing. We're gonna slow the movement down. I want you to use the heaviest weight as you have. Um, that's safe for you, especially if you're alone. All right, so let's get down onto the floor. And we're gonna start with a chest press. So the weight is gonna be to your side, elbows are out, the weight is at your chest. Now, we're doing 30 seconds so we don't want more than, you know, 15 reps in that 30 seconds. It's a little arc, they touch, and then they're gonna come back out, elbows out, as far as you can get them to go out to the sides, and then up again. Remember, it's gonna go over your chest, not over your face. That's three, four, let's see how many I can do, five, six, Seven, my chin, eight. Okay, so I got eight in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna get up and I'm actually gonna sit on the chair for this one. You can stay on the floor if you want to. And we're gonna do tricep overhead extensions, okay? Weights up, they're gonna go behind my head and then back up. Nice, tall body, elbows are next to my head. They're not way out here, okay? See the difference? They need to be next to your head. Four, I think. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's not bad. Back on the floor, we're gonna go to a chest fly. So our arms are gonna go all the way out. We're gonna start with them above our chest. I'm gonna bend my elbows just a little bit, open them out so that the back of my arms touch, and then come back up. So if you have an ottoman, a coffee table, or a couple pillows that you can put under your back so that your arms can go beyond your, you know, the, your back, that helps a lot with this workout. This is, well, I don't know, five. That's not very many, is it? Okay, up we go. Okay, and now I'm gonna do tricep dips on the chair, so I'm gonna leave my weights there. And I'm gonna come up. Fingers have to face forward. Don't turn your hands around weird, okay? I'm gonna put my back right next to the back of the chair, and I'm gonna bend my elbows, and I'm gonna go down and up. Okay. You don't want to get too far away from the chair and you don't want to go too deep. You'll see some people go way deep, but that gets too much into your shoulder. We're working the tricep here. Okay, back down on the floor. We're gonna do those for, again, two more times. Chest press first, elbows out. Make sure that back is happy. Pull that belly button in. Tailbone's on the floor. Make sure your chin's not tucked in or too far behind you. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm going to cheat, sit right here, weights together, tricep extensions. One, two, three, try not to go too fast, four, feeling it, five, six, these are only eight pounds each, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, okay, flies next. Back down to the floor. Okay, above the chest. Ready? Open. Make sure you have that little bend in those elbows. Weight should be heavy enough that you can't do this without that bend. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, last one. Up I go. Gotta be able to do those transitions quickly, don't you? You can do it on the floor too if you want to. I'll show you the last set, how you do it on the floor. I just like doing it on the chair. You can do all this on the bed. You can lay on the bed and just scoot over to the side of the bed and do these. Right. Last set, right? Three sets. Okay, so chest press, elbows are out. At your chest. Make sure you're breathing. Inhale, exhale. Good, okay, there's that one. Okay, so now we're gonna do the overhead press. Remember, you can get to your chair or you can just scooch onto your legs, whichever feels best for you. Tricep extensions. Four. Make sure that chin is right so you can breathe. Your back is happy. Not too fast. But you can just whip these out super fast. Your weight is too light. Even if you have two pound weights, I want you to slow it down. It's going to make the exercise better. Use those abs. Press that belly button down when you bring it back up. Okay, so this is the one you can do this on the floor. Okay, your fingers need to be in front of you still. Don't do this, okay? So if you don't want to get on the chair. So 
So it's not this, okay? It's your high knees up, you gotta bend the elbows. Okay, so that was the 30 seconds. We're gonna bring the legs up. We're gonna do scissor legs now. So we're gonna drop one leg, bring it up, bring the other one down. Now, if you can, I want you to bring your head up too, hands by your side. Now, if you need to put your head down and rest, you can do that too. Breathe. If your head is up and you need to put it down halfway through, that's fine too. It's all about gaining strength, trying it out, and then gaining strength as you start doing these exercises. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna do another crunch. You're gonna bring your hands here and work it actually out here, and then we're gonna come up and you're gonna do a clap. So instead of looking straight up, it's gonna be about halfway in between and we're just going to clap again breathe out breathe in Good, okay, and for our last one, I forgot what our last one was. Oh yeah, need a chest. Okay, so you're gonna leave your head down on this one, okay? You're gonna get that neck a rest. We're gonna bring our knees into our chest, and then we're just gonna extend them out and back in. Try not to touch the ground when we do this, okay? We're just gonna extend them out as straight as you can, and as low as you can, and then you're just gonna bring them back in, knees to towards the chest. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. So this is your neck rest, because the other ones you kind of have to use your neck with. Well, the second one you don't, but, so it's like every other one. All right, so now we're gonna go back to that crunch. So hands on the chest, breathing up, pulling the belly button in with the exhale through your mouth, inhale through your nose. Are we working? We're working. Good. 
All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Perfect. Okay. Scissors. Hands at the bum. Legs are up. Getting ready to do scissors. Remember, head up or down, or start with it up and then go down halfway or whenever you need to. Don't bring the other leg down until the other one's returned. There you go. Good job. Nice, okay, legs down. Okay, ready? We're gonna do the clap. So hands out to the side. And we're gonna take a big breath in. And we're gonna exhale up. Some place about halfway between the ground and your knees is where you want that clap to be. Not only does this work your abs, but it's great for the chest and that little bitty bra line fat. Work that too. Okay, great. Okay, last one. Okay, hands by your tushy, head down, knees to chest. And we're going to take them out and then we'll have one more round after that. Head out and then back in. Good. Remember, we're not letting the legs touch the ground on this one if we can help it. Exhale, inhale. And if for some reason your breathing is off, but it feels right to you, that's okay. As long as you're breathing and you're not holding your breath during all this. All righty, one more round. Hands on the chest, get ready to breathe up. Really concentrate on pushing that belly button down. You can do it. Good job. <clears throat> Good job. Okay, scissor legs. Legs up. Almost there. Head up. This is the last round. So if you haven't tried it with your head up, you might try it for a little bit this time. You're all warmed up now. So you probably can do it at least for a couple seconds. But remember, if it hurts, don't do it, right? Okay, hand clap, hands out to the side. Are you ready? Here we go. Out and then in. Working those lower abs. Six. 
slow it down. That's it. Feel those abs work. That's it. Done already. We're going to start with deadlifts. All right, both weights. You're going to bend those knees just a little bit. And I'm going to start that timer. Oh, let's get a drink of water before we start, okay? Everybody rested? I'm going to move the chair out of the way. All righty. So we're going to be up and down just a little bit on this one because uh, we're going to do a bridge. All righty, 15 second countdown. So we're going to hold the weight. You're going to bend your knees just a little bit, okay? So not like this, like just unlock them. The weights are gonna slide down your legs. Just slide down and you're gonna push your tushy out. And they're gonna just you know, go down as far as you can until you feel something in the back of your legs or your tush and then you're gonna come back up, okay? We're gonna do it again. They don't need to touch the floor. They do not go in front of your toes, ever. They just slide up and down your legs. Push through your heels, push your tush back. Okay, good, that was good. Okay, so now we're gonna do um, a squat. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna use one weight for this. I have it, should use a red one, huh? So we're just gonna do a squat, okay? And then a squat here. Squat here, squat up here. Good. Squat here, squat here. And we're just going to alternate back and forth between a squat drop and regular squat. And you try to get that tush as low as you can every time. How low can you go? Oh, good. All right, now we're going to do a goblet squat, so we're going to hold it sideways. Look at this one. Oh, look, now I can see the way. Okay, so I'm gonna put my toes out just a little bit, okay? Like a ballerina, away from my body. I'm gonna go down and up, as low as I can. Good. Nice work. Press through the heels. Squeeze the buns when you come up. Squeeze. Feeling good, huh? Feeling strong? Okay, now we're gonna go all the way to the floor. So you're gonna grab both your weights. You're gonna put your heels, feet together, okay? Weights are gonna be on the hips. Knees are gonna be out. You're gonna push your tush up and down. So this is a frog bridge. Are you counting your reps? All right, here we go. I'm gonna stand all the way back up. Deadlift. I'm gonna turn sideways just a little bit so you can see me. Alrighty. Here we go. Push. Squeeze. Are you listening to yourself? Are you feeling it? If you're bending over because you're really flexy and you're going, I don't feel anything, then you're not pushing your tush back, okay? You gotta push the tush back. You can do this without weight and still feel something. Okay, squat drop, squat, normal. Okay, feet kind of wide. It. Ha! Okay, got it. 
goblet squat. Away from the body, don't let it rest. Let's try to go low. We want to drop that high knee below our knees if we can. Can you do that? And you gotta keep the knees in front, behind your toes. Am I doing that? Let's see. Oh yeah. Because I don't like to bring them in front. Because that's bad for your knees. Okay, bridge. Okay, so I'm gonna face this way so you can see my feet. Feet together like this. Weights on your hips. Get ready to press up. That's it, just keep going. Now make sure you're not trying to watch because then that's gonna cut off your breathing. Make sure that chin is where it needs to be. Whenever you're on the floor, you gotta watch that, that your head's not tipped back and that your head's not you know, going into your chin either. Okay, last set. Ready? I'm ready. You ready? You're ready. Okay, here we go again. Squeeze the chest. Push the chest out. Squeeze the chest. Half of this is in your mind, right? One weight down. Weight drop. Squat. when you come back up. Push through those heels. Stand up for our cool down. Okay, five minute cool down. Big inhale. Exhale. 
Bring those arms to the side. Big stretch. Up. Take it to the other side. Ooh, bring those arms in front. Round your back. And you're breathing. Okay, open the arms up, bring them behind you. Okay, chest out. And release. Excellent. Okay, take that left hand, put it in your right back pocket. And release it. Take that left, right hand, put it in your left back pocket. And bring it back in front. Okay, let's go to our chair that we had out earlier. Okay, and we're gonna take the outside leg back. Front leg's bent. Straighten the back, heels on the floor. Front leg, let's straighten it, and let's tip forward. Keeping that head above your heart. Now, let's come up on that back toe. So you're on the ball of your foot. Good, and then bring it back down. All right, let's trade sides. Leg back, front knee is bent, heels on the ground. Good. Straighten that front leg. Tip forward. And it's above heart. But you know that. All right, up uh, on the ball of the foot and back. back down. Ooh, straighten that leg. Come all the way back up. Okay. Let's go ahead and just lift the heel. Changing the weight from side to side. Perfect. Take a seat in your chair. Take that right leg. Cross it over. Bring it up. Inhale, exhale, lean forward. You're thinking about getting your chest over this cross part of the leg. Don't look down, okay? Chin and chest up, slowly lean forward. Getting that hip. Breathe. You did a good job. Now, of course, to make that work out harder, you just get heavier weights. And it's a really good upper body, ab, and leg workout. So, and it doesn't take forever to do, which we don't want to do, right? We went through that. Shorter is better. You just have to use heavier weights. Why do we need heavier weights? Because we want to make little micro tears in our muscles so we get sore. Then we need to eat protein to repair those little micro tears so we get stronger. You're not going to get big and bulky because that's a whole different way of working out. And you're not going to get it by doing little at home workouts. Trust me. It takes many hours in the gym and a whole different mindset. But you want to be strong. Okay, bring yourself back up. Let's take a big deep breath in. As we age, we have to fight to keep those muscles. 
That's what's going to keep us young. Okay, one more time. Big breath in. This is Joy from Enjoy Fitness 43. We are just a bunch of ladies, maybe some men, working out together, having some fun. Share, subscribe, tell me what you want, and we'll try to get it in our workouts. You have an awesome day. Talk to you later. Bye.